Today's video is on taking care of the bala shark. What's up guys, it's bright and early in the morning. Uh, the baby got me up super early. Um, I'm in the shop today hanging out and uh, I just got done making some cool little acrylic deals. I'll explain that in a second here. But today's topic of this video is the bala shark. Um, the bala shark has been a staple to the industry for so long and I've gotten tons and tons of questions and I've, and I've waited to get some really good footage of some beast, really big adult bala sharks because I want to stress how big these fish actually get and I got some cool footage of some beautiful adults. And, um, but yeah, I'm in the shop working on, um, actually what this is, is a simple acrylic 90 degree um, piece here and what I do, um, I have some deep tanks, and if you know anything about sponge filters, when they're super deep, they don't work as well because the airflow has to struggle to push all the way through, and it's just, I find that they don't work um, all that great. So what I do, this is real simple. I make a 90 degree elbow that is gonna go inside the tank, and then I silicone some magnets on the side of it, and then I put the magnets on the outside so that you can adjust it at whatever depth you want, and you can put the sponge filter on the top here. Uh, it's not rocket science. Literally, I'm just lifting up the sponge filter so it's at a higher depth in the tank so that it works better. And what I usually do is have it about that tall from the top so that it, um, it pushes a lot more water flow too so it's more effective. A lot of people don't know this with sponge filters. Um, if you have like a, a Fat Boy 150 or a 90 gallon tank, these are really deep and sponge filters sometimes struggle, but um, you could also buy a, a much larger air pump. So just hanging out in the shop, getting some of these things done because I find that uh, the sponges just quit working and I get sick of it and I'm just building some of these. But yeah, back to on topic, the Bala Shark. Um, I'm gonna flip the cam. I got some cool footage of some juveniles that are from like a local big chain pet store. And then after that, I'm gonna show you some beautiful adults. These are awesome fish, but you just have to know that they can grow up to a foot long easily in a tank. And the adults that I have, the footage, they grew to like 10, 11 inches in under a year. So, um, yeah, let's let's just take a look at some of this cool footage and I want to I want to walk you through taking care of the bala shark. All right guys, so let's talk about taking care of these guys. The bala shark or as you can see here, these are juveniles sold at a pet store from a video someone sent me and they look super cool as juveniles and what makes them super popular is the name shark, bala shark and I find that a lot of newbie or people that are new to owning fish immediately go to the bala shark because they think they're owning a freshwater shark. But that's actually not the case. Not only that, but these things grow to like a foot long and a lot of newbies don't know that. So it's I really need to urge that, that these fish grow massively in size and if you're thinking about getting them or have already bought them and you're watching this video after, uh, maybe plan on, I mean, there's really two routes. You need to get a massive aquarium to house them eventually, or else you need to have someone else adopt them. So uh, moving on, keeping these guys, uh, these guys, as you can see right here, this one is already, these aren't even a year old and they're already like 10, 11 inches, but these guys will eat almost anything. They're super sturdy fish. They'll eat anything and because of their size, they can be kept with almost anything, even some of the tougher predator fish because they hold their own with size. So awesome fish i would love to have a massive like 400 gallon tank and house a couple of these because they are absolutely stunning fish and um i also want to give a shout out to shannon sandmeyer for sending me these videos of these awesome fish but yeah guys these things are super sturdy. You can't screw this up. They're super tough as far as water parameters. They are tropical, so you are going to need a heater and you're going to need to keep your temps between 78 to 82. But as far as it goes, guys, these things are super sturdy. They're going to grow fast, eat almost anything you throw at them, pellets, flakes. Um, I try to stick with Omega-1 foods. I'll throw some links in the description box. If you're looking for a good filter, I would go with the Penplex uh, canister filter if you have anything above a 70 
75 gallon tank um, or else the AquaClear 110 if you have like a 55 gallon and you plan on upgrading later. But um, I'll throw links in the description box to the to the foods I mentioned, to the, um, the filter. Uh, just look at these beautiful stunning fish. It kind of sucks that they get so massive. I kind of wish that they would just stop growing right around like the eight inch mark because that's just so much more manageable in aquariums. But um, yeah, let's flip the cam here. It's always weird for me with fish like this that uh, shouldn't be sold in the industry, but yet you have to tell people how to take care of them. Like, um, I did some research and the Bala shark is one of the most sold aquarium fish in the industry. And uh, like, like uh, they shouldn't even be sold essentially because they get so large and the average fish keeper doesn't have a way to home them. So um, I'm wondering what you uh, seasoned fish keepers, uh, how you feel about this. Like other fish are like the red tail catfish, the paku. Uh, there's a lot of fish that essentially shouldn't be sold or uh, the tiger shovel nose catfish those things were like four feet long and yet people are still keeping them in tanks and uh, as soon as you speak up about it like uh, I'm, I a, a local friend of mine got a tiger shovel nose and I'm like whoa why what the heck are you gonna do with that fish you know like uh, well I'm gonna donate it to a zoo uh, I mean, I mean, if we're being completely honest here, are you really going to donate the fish to a zoo? I, I just, it's a weird, it's a weird thing because, uh, do you, do you tell people not to not to buy the fish or do you just, uh, do you move forward and tell them then just proper care? You know, the Bala shark can easily grow a foot in the first year. So you have a 12 inch fish essentially on your hands. I got to keep an eye on one of these water changes. Um, I'm setting up a, a tank on the ground down there. It's been in limbo for quite some time. Um, I actually had a different tank there in that location, but uh, a sickness kept breaking out in the tank and I tried everything. Uh, fish just kept dying. It's, it's a weird phenomenon when that happens. It's like something is on the glass or the silicone. Uh, after a bunch of sets of fish died in that tank previously, I just, I said, screw it. I got rid of the tank because it's just a 40 breeder on the floor there. And it just wasn't worth it. I put that up at an auction for like 10 bucks. It even had, it, it's even drilled on the bottom of the tank, but it has a, um, a patch over it. I don't like when people do that and you're just throwing it in your house because who knows but the floor in here is concrete and I deal with so many leaks that I, I'm over it. Like fill the tank up and move on. That's my new attitude. So, but yeah, buying these fish that aren't supposed to be kept in the in that aren't supposed to be kept in smaller tanks or even, uh, you know, like a big six foot tank, you know, like a Paku or a Bala shark that's 15 inches long, even in a six foot tank, that's like nothing. You know, that's uh, like an, a seventh of its entire size. That's like you living in the inside of your car. I know it's a stupid comparison and I'm babbling about fish's rights and it's, a, it's essentially a waste of time, but I would like to know what some of you guys think, how you feel about it. And it might suck if you already bought a Bala shark and you had no idea of this information and now you have to take care of the fish or now it, it's, it's probably gonna suck if you came to this video searching for info on how to care for your new cool fish but these uh, and now I'm talking about how you shouldn't even own these fish that's like going to buy a dog and someone having someone tell you you shouldn't have bought this dog well I love the dog and I want to take proper care of it it's a screwed up system I'm babbling uh, taking care of the bala shark it's a super super easy fish to take care of just be ready for its growth and size uh, they're beautiful fish and I'm out.